Um, similar, not not the same. Similar. Uh, not tomorrow. After UN, after UN. We're starting with number three. Okay, A. So. Okay, the question was. We need to find the value, find the value of square root of 441. Okay, so I know, I know that you could easily get this number by using your calculator, pressing square root of 441, and it will give you the answer already. So can you try that in your calculator? What's the square root of 441? Or if you know, like 21, 21 right? 21. So it's 21. It's 21 because 441 is 21 times 21. Hence, the square root of 441 is 21. Okay, so what is another method introduced to you? Uh, since we are learning uh, prime factorization, we could actually use prime factorization to get the square root of 441. So how do we do this? Okay, so you apply what you have learned in number two. How do you break down 441? Three. By three. Okay, we divide it by three. So if we divide it by three, what will you get? 147. 147. And then? Divide by three. Divide by three again. You get 49 Okay, 49 and then? Yes. You get three and three. 49 is seven and seven. So by prime factorization, 441 is the same as 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. Or in index notation, it is 3 squared times 7 squared. Right? Okay. So if we want to get the square root of 441, we just get the square root of 3 squared times 7 squared. Okay, now we also learned that if you will get the square root of a number squared, let's say any number n, okay, number squared, what do you get? If you take the square root of a square, so like if I get the square root of 3 squared, what will be the answer? Yeah, so let's try. What is 3 squared? What is 3 squared? Just find the 3 squared. What is 3 squared? No, just square the 3. How do you square a number? If I say 3 squared. No, 3 squared. How many times? 3 times 3, right? So, square root of 9. What is the square root of 9? Three. 3. What did you notice from this to the answer? 3 times. It's just here, right? Yes. Okay, so if we take the square root of a square, you will just get the number. See this? So, if we square root 4, it will be 4? No, if you, if you take the square root of 2 square, then it will be 2. Are you going to post this on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, so applying that, so applying that, how do you simplify the square root of 3 squared times 7 squared? It is 3 times? 3 No, no, no. Use the, the idea. 3 times 7. Because you're, you're taking the square root of 3 squared times 7 squared. So it is equal to 21. Okay, so that's one application of prime factorization. It's not the most, it's not the most um, practical way of getting the square root, but this question is just for you to apply the idea. Okay, of course, if you want to get the square root of a number, the, the best way is to take the, the square root using a calculator, or if you're familiar with the square root of the number, then that should be easy. Okay, any question? Did you get this? Yes. Okay, let's move to the next uh, number. The next number given to you was 
this time the cube root of 3, 3, 7, 5. Okay, let's go back to the, the basic idea of cube roots. Cube roots means you're looking for a number that when you cube that, it will be equal to 3, 3, 7, 5. That's the idea, right? If you use your calculator, just press the, the key, cube root, and then the number, then you will get the answer. Like there, there's a key in the calculator to get the cube root of a certain number. Okay. It's 15. It's 15. Huh? 15? 1, 5? Okay, if you do that, you'll get 15. But how do we get this 15? Uh, it's the shift of the square root. Is it there or a different key? It depends on your calculator. It's 15, right? But how do we apply prime factorization to get the 15? So that is what we are going to show. Okay, so we pick the number. We get the number 3375. We break it down into two numbers. Any suggestion? 3 is okay. So 3 can be, if you divide 3375 by 3, what will be the answer? One one, one one two five. Okay, so one one two five. Okay, let's break down the one one two five. Three. By three again. Three seventy five. Okay, and then can it be divisible by three? The three seventy five. Three. One twenty five. Okay. Can 125 be divided by 3? It can be divided by 5. So we select 5. So 125 divided by 5, how many 5s? 25. There are 25 5s. Okay. And finally, 25 is? 5 times 5. Times five. So we bring down all the other numbers, 3 and 3. So if you multiply all of this, then you will get the number 3375. But our goal is to find the cube root of 3375. That means we have to take the cube root. Uh, this is on applying prime factorization. But we're like talking and stuff in the video. It's okay. This is, ex this is exclusively for you. Anyway, you will be the one to watch this, so not not the other students. <laughs> okay, so we get three, 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 five, five, five. Okay, let's rewrite this into. Um, We, we can. Okay. Oh, let's apply the, the idea of the square root. This time we are taking the cube root of a cube. So it's basically the same. So 3, cube root of 3 cube is 3. And then cube root of 5 cube is 5. That is why we have 15. Okay, like I've said before, this is not the most uh, practical way of getting the cube root. We are just applying the idea of prime factorization. So as you could see, like how, how does it work in other problems? Okay, is it clear? Okay, that's it.